Hello there, this is Rahul and welcome to the Sensible series and in this 10th part, we will be taking a look onto the task and the roles. The idea of this session is to understand what are roles and how to create multiple tasks inside your Ansible playbook. So in this session, we will first try to look and understand what is task and the roles and after that we are just going to perform a demo to understand both task and the roles. Alright, so to begin with, it's really important for us to understand the structure of our roles and the task. So here onto the screen, if you'll see, this is the screenshot which I have taken from my projects and into this screenshot, you will see there is a roles. So this is the roles which I have created. This is the standard roles directory where we are going to define the roles. And here I have created a couple of roles. So this is the first one and this is the second one. So the name of the first role is custom role because I just wanted to create my own custom role. But here in the second role, if you'll see, there is a unique name that is install Apache. So that dictates like the second role is going to install the Apache. So whenever you're working with the Ansible playbook and you need to create a multiple task, then what you're going to do, first of all, you're just going to go inside your roles directory and inside that you're just going to create the role directories inside those. Now once you created those roles inside your roles directories, now it's time for you to include those roles inside your main Ansible playbook. So here the main Ansible playbook is this one which is Ansible import roles playbook.yml. So that is going to be my main playbook. So you need to include those roles inside that main playbook. So once you pre execute that particular main playbook then it is going to execute those roles also. So if you scroll down further, then I have taken a one more screenshot that is from my main Ansible playbook. So here you will see this is the first role which I have included and here this is the second role which I have included. So once I'll execute this my main playbook, then it is going to execute first the custom role and then it is going to execute my second role which is install Apache. Alright, so now we have taken a look onto the project structure of our roles and how to include those roles inside your main Ansible playbook. Let's talk about the task and how to create those tasks within those roles. So if you take a look over here into the custom role and the install Apache role, we have created a task directory. So that's a standard practice which you need to follow while creating the task. So if you expand that particular directory, the task directory, then you will find a main.yml. So that's again, you need to follow this standard practice of creating a main.yml within that particular task because in that main.yml, you're just going to define the task for that particular role. So here you will find the main.yml and also for install Apache, you will also find a main.yml. So those are the standard practice which you need to keep in mind. Now let's open the main.yml of one of the role and see what's present inside those. So let's take a very simple one that is install Apache role and there is one main.yml present inside it. So if you are going to open that particular main.yml, then you will find that small, small task that is first task is to install the Apache and the second task is to start the Apache server. So that's the task which you have defined into that particular role. And this particular tasks are associated with this particular install Apache role. So once you include that particular role over here, that is install Apache, then it is going to, what it's going to do, it is first going to install the Apache and then it is going to start the Apache service. Let's take a one more use case where we are going to create a subtask within the task. So here in the custom role, what I have done, I have created a main.yml, but that main.yml is still dependent on the subtasks. So here there are a couple of tasks which I have defined that is messages.yml and that is packages.yml. So these are the further subtasks which I want to execute when I'm executing this particular Ansible playbook. So inside the main.yml, you first of all, you will see I have included or I have imported the package.yml that is package task. And after that, I have also in imported the message.yml that is my message task. And after that, I'm just writing one my task which is to start the nginx server so let's take a look into the packages.yml first of all so if you open this one then what it's going to do it is just going to install some packages it is going to install nginx it is going to install git and it is going to install curl so that's the package.yml and it is a sub task present within the custom role and after that we need to include that into our main.yml all right, so that's our packages.yml. The second thing is the message.yml, which I have already included or imported as a task. So here, what I'm doing simply, I'm just copying uh, the content of our uh, like a HTML file, uh, which is present for Nginx server. And after that, I'm just including it over here into the message.yml. And finally, we are just in restarting or starting our Nginx service onto my Ubuntu machine. So that's how you're just going to create a multiple subtask within that uh, particular custom role and it can depend uh, de of course it the name can be deferred in your case but once you create those role then in that role you can create a subtask also and you can import those tasks within your main.yml 
All right, let's run this playbook to verify the task and the roles which we have created. So what you need to do, you just need to go to the readme file and here you will find the run playbook instruction. So you simply need to copy this command. So it's basically doing, uh, it's just uh, running this Ansible import role playbook and from the host and the host I have already defined over here in the Ansible import role and the host. So that's where you will find the host definition. Okay, so I'm just going to open the terminal over here and I'm just going to paste the command and hit enter. So it should execute and it should include all those roles which we have created and it will execute all those tasks. So let's see over here. Okay, so here you can see uh, if you go one by one. So here we have first of all installed the package from the custom role. So that's the first thing which we have did. From the custom role, we have set the message file, which we have also seen. Then after that, we are just starting the Nginx server. So that's where uh, the three tasks which has been performed within the custom role. Now coming to uh, the second part where we are just going to install the Apache, which is our second role. So here, first of all, we are just installing the Apache, then we are updating the configuration of Apache, and then finally we are starting the Apache. So that's how you're just gonna execute your Ansible playbook, which includes multiple roles. And in those roles, we can have multiple tasks. So that was all about the roles and tasks in Ansible. And till now we have completed the five chapters. And in the next chapter, we'll be talking about the templating in Ansible. So where we will be covering the topics like a Jinja templates. I'll be taking a one example of a Jinja template and how it will help you to understand like how you can create the Jinja template. So stay tuned for that. And if you're interested in the similar content on a DevOps, then please consider subscribing to this channel. So see you into the next session of Ansible and DevOps. Till then, take care and bye-bye.